What's good, everybody? Hey, welcome back to my channel, Smoking and Grilling with me, A.B. Now, you see I got my little nephew right here, right? I had to hit you with my little nephew. Hey, look, Mr. Make It Happen. Him, huh? Hey, that's all good. Hey, don't make no day. Hey, seniority, though, baby. <laughs> hey, so with that being said, listen, he and I, we get ready to do some, uh, like, some Super Bowl, you know, appetizers, you know what I mean? Just to give you guys an idea. And guess what, folks? For those of you guys that got the cookbook, which the cookbook is back in stock, right? We're going to make the lemon pepper wings right up out of the cookbook. Now, with that being said, hey, go ahead. You can talk about the, uh, the other wings or whatever else we're doing. Yeah, so we're going to make a few uh, appetizers for game day. This is perfect for you guys that are scrambling, trying to figure out what you want to cook for the Super Bowl. We're doing lemon pepper wings. We're doing buffalo wings and buffalo chicken dip. All of it comes together super quick and easy. Let's make it happen. Let's get it. Hey, so look, I know, look, you're trying to figure out like what we're going to do, right? So look, I'm going to go ahead and start on the chicken, get these uh, seasoned up. Then you can go ahead and explain why we season them up and what we're doing about right. putting them in the oven. Cool. So the big game's coming up. You might be pressed for time. One thing that you can do ahead of time is go ahead and pre-cook the chicken in the oven. And then we're going to flash fry it. So you can do this even the night before if you want to. Put the oven on 400. Would you say 10 minutes on the first side, 15 minutes on the second side? Yeah, there you go. Pull it out and then we can flash fry it a little bit later. This helps you, uh, you know, cook in higher volume too. All right, man. So look, I'm just gonna go ahead and toss these back and forth. What kind of seasoning you got there? Hey, you saw what I was using right now. Go ahead and just uh, pull it up right now. I'm Shameless using plug. Hey, no. Hey, but look, it, it worked though. Hey, so look again. I, I just like want to stress this. Like, Super Bowl coming up, right? Like, just say like on Saturday. Go ahead, just make all your wings. You know what I mean? Like you said, 15 on one side, 10 on the other. Let them get room temperature, put them in a Ziploc bag, put them in your refrigerator, right? Then the day of, right before everybody get there, then that's when you go ahead and just finish them up. Flash fry them for a couple right. of minutes, get them nice and crispy, sauce them with the sauce of your choice. You have help, happy help, house guests. Right. The wire rack comes in handy too because air gets to circulate around the chicken. It's gonna help you get nice and crispy also. So if you don't have one of these, this is a good investment. Now look, when I do mine, I always start mine skin side down on the flats. You know why? Because I want to like finish them, you know, with the top. So they just, yep. I don't know. I guess it's really like more of a mental thing, you know? Makes it nice and even color. There you go. All right, guys. So as you can see, AB's done a beautiful job of placing the wings on the wire rack. They got adequate space around it around each wing, we're to pop these in the oven at 400 degrees. Hey, look, 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 look. let me pop my collar, because you can see, look at that seasoning right there, though. Mm -hmm. Hey, nice, even. Beautiful. Lemon bay. Smells good, too. Yeah, that's true, that's true. All right, so while the wings are in the oven, we're to get started on the buffalo chicken dip. Get the party started with a little butter, because butter makes everything better. Always, man. Hey, you know what, I can't really say that, man, because what makes it better is that butter, and then we had a little bit of them bacon. You know, Some bacon would be great in here. <laughs> right, right. About to get hey, the, the actually, pork patrol angry in the comments. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> the pork patrol. So once this butter melts, we'll go in with one diced onion. AB's will help me get everything set up, and we'll put this in a casserole dish and pop that in the oven as well. When you make your buffalo chicken dip, you like ranch or blue cheese? Uh, for myself, uh, I'm more of a ranch guy. Gotcha. You know what I mean? Blue cheese seems like that's more like East Coast-ish. Yeah. East Coast-ish, you know? Well, I mean, buffalo is... That's kind of where it all originated. They, they're big on their blue cheese and buffalo for sure. Right. So the onion's going in. We're working over medium low heat here. We don't want to get too, we, we don't want the butter to you know brown too quickly. So we're just going to sweat that onion down. We're going to hit this with a little garlic paste. Hey, so look, I pulled this out just for you, man. When I saw it in the store, stuff. yeah, that, this, this is you all day long. You know what I mean? So I'm going to go ahead and give it a little bit of garlic. Got some garlic paste going in. You want to add that after the onion already gets started because garlic has a tendency to burn. So you want to give the onions a little bit of a head start. Right. Next, we can go in with the chicken. We're using a rotisserie chicken that we went ahead and shredded up. So AB's gonna help me get that incorporated. You ready? Sir. Oh, like this rotisserie got a little seasoning on it. Whew. All right, so we're just gonna fold that in. All right, so we're gonna add the room temperature cream cheese at this point. All right, so look, I'm gonna go ahead and just go ahead and dump. You can go ahead and use your spatula and work with it. Make me get the forearm workout. Yeah, 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 right, right, right. Hey, you know what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna uh, say this part right here. Hey, listen, in all of my videos, I'm trying to let everybody know, listen, you wanna get yourself some soapy water, and you know, get that nice and hot, and get, you know, have it at a ready, right? So when you're doing your uh, dishes or whatever, and you're cooking, look, you wanna wash your dishes as you go. Yep. You'll see that I start putting stuff over here on the side and letting that dry. This keeps it from being a chore. That's a great uh, tip that my wife likes to hear too, because she's always on me about clean as I go. Huh. 
All right, so as you can see, the, the cream cheese is melted nicely. Time to get a little flavor in here. Right, right, right. There we go. Perfect. We're also gonna hit it with a little ranch seasoning packet. About a half a packet. You wanna taste as you go, guys. Make sure it's not too salty. Sometimes those ranch seasoning packets can be a little overwhelming, so don't go too crazy <laughs> on the salt otherwise. Hey, I like the way you use that. You say a little bit overwhelming, huh? It can be. It can be. There we go. And then to intensify the ranch flavor, we're gonna go ahead and add in some ranch dressing. Now, personally, I like to do one and a half cups of ranch and a half cup of blue cheese. If you're not a fan of blue cheese, obviously you can use all ranch. There you go. And then last but not least, it's time to add in that Frank's Red Hot Sauce. One cup of that. All right, you ready? Yes, sir. Add some cheese, bring it to a simmer, put it in the casserole dish. Top it with more cheese, and then she's going in up. Okay, so look, you mentioned like a casserole dish, right? So look, I got a clear Pyrex casserole dish, but look, we got a small, look, a smaller size, you know, cast iron, which I think the presentation is great. Yep. You know, a couple of these, you put these out for your friends, you know what I'm saying? Everybody dipping and, and tripping and drinking and all of that, all at the same That's time. There you go. Yeah, so the, ca the cast iron skillet definitely is gonna look a little bit better. So we'll go ahead and add in the cheese now, get that in the cast iron and pop that in the oven. All right, so look, you wanna do the whole blend? Like, you know, the yep. blend or you do it separately? Yes, sir, let's get it all in there. We got cheddar, you can use pepper jack, Monterey jack, Colby jack, really any kind of cheese any you like. Any kind of cheese, right, right. Mozzarella would be good also. What I love most about this, uh, I know this, is, this isn't supposed to be an ad, but I like how you can grab these handles even after it being on the heat. Now, as you can see, that fits perfectly in this 10 inch cast iron skillet. We're gonna top it with a little bit more cheddar cheese. Pop that in the oven. My lactose intolerant folks in the comments are losing their mind. All right, so now that it's covered with cheese, it's going in the oven at 350 for about 25 minutes or until the cheese is melted. It's brown, bubbly, and beautiful. Got it. All right, so as we said earlier, we're gonna do two different wing flavors. I'm gonna get started on the buffalo wing sauce. Super simple, guys, just melted butter. A little Frank's Red Hot, we're gonna season it up as well. AB will do the lemon pepper seasoning for the wings, or the lemon pepper sauce, I should say. Right, right, right. So look, both of these wings, look, we already talked about having the wings, you know, like pre-made, right? So then once they, uh, like, I guess what is that, like pre-baked, then look, we gonna flash fry them, get them nice and crispy and hot, you know, the next day, right? So that's when you're gonna see us go ahead and stick them in here and start frying them. When they come out, both of these wings are just really, just the sauce and toss. That's it. You know what I mean? And both of them it's are wet. It's time to plate them up. Going in with about a cup or so of Frank's Red Hot with a couple tablespoons of butter, whatever seasoning you prefer. This is unsalted butter, by the way, for those of you guys that might be wondering. Let's give that a mix, and you got buffalo wing sauce, guys. You can. This is like a, a blank canvas right here. You can add some garlic and make it a spicy garlic. You add lemon pepper, make it a spicy lemon pepper. Really, you can do whatever you want. But this is like the foundation right here, nice buffalo sauce. Butter, hot sauce, a little seasoning. Okay, so look, this was the last batch that came out. You know what I mean, you guys can see it. So look, now we just gotta like imagine that, you know, it's like the next day. Cause like I said, you wanna let it get room temperature or whatever, then put it in a Ziploc bag, put it in your refrigerator, right? You should have like, if it's Super Bowl, you probably got about 10, 12 people coming to the pad. You probably should have about at least one, two, I'ma say about six of these going. Oh yeah. You know what I mean? So look, now we got our oil up to temp. This is the candy thermometer. Listen, when I fry, this is the way I get down. I got it, we can all stick, you know, the, uh, the bamboo in there to make sure that it, or the toothpick to see the bottom. Thermometer is the best, most accurate way. This is the way to go, right? So, we up to temp right now, and I'm gonna go ahead and just start adding these into the oil. All right, so we're sitting at about 350, and all you gotta do is flash fry. A couple minutes, they'll be nice and crispy, perfectly cooked. All right, so as you can see, they're getting nice and golden brown. You can just tell that they're getting perfectly crispy as well. I'll go ahead and pull these out, and they'll be ready to get sauced and tossed. Okay, so look, you see we got all our wings ready. You know, we ready to go, right? Look, you've already made your buffalo sauce. Look, mine is, you know, lemon pepper is gonna be just as easy as that, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and just start melting my butter. Of butter. Right, so once this is melted, look, when I tell you super easy, look, we got lemon pepper right here. I'll put down in the description box below how to make this. I make, you know, lemon pepper, you know, like, you should like 
once a month, right? Mm -hmm. I do it, you know, get it ready, put it in the jar, put it in there. So, That's a good uh, recipe too. Oh, yes it is. And then look, this right here, look, this is my newfound friend, this that lemon bay. I'm not just saying this just because this is my nephew's right here. This right here is fire. They are so fire, I don't know how I could even approve on it. That's why I'm not bringing out one. So listen, hey, you, you just did good here. Thank you know you. what I mean? So look, lemon pepper, then we're going to top it off with this lemon bay to give it just a little bit of a different, like a ooey profile, and then we're going to go from there. Then if you say lemon pepper, you know you got to have this too, right? Oh, fresh lemon. That's right. So while we're doing that, I'm going to go ahead and let's divide these up. Okay, so look, now that my, my butter is melted, hey, I'm gonna do it like this. I'm gonna give this to you, you know what I'm saying? Because right I know you know how to, yeah, I know you know how to do that. You know what I'm saying? So look, I'm just gonna go ahead and add this, right? Now, what I did was, I did remove it from the, you know, turned off the fire underneath, right? Then you come that up. You don't brown the butter too much. Right, right, right. Lemon bay action. Oh, yeah. You know what, I'm gonna ask this. I know we wanna stay with the yellow, but please just give me a little bit more. Okay. Now we just go ahead and add a little lemon in there. Hey, so you know what? Since we both got our sauces together, I'm gonna go ahead and just pour this. You guys see the wings? You know what, let me just tip these like this. You guys can see that. Now, I'm just gonna go ahead. This part right here is real cool, right? So keep giving it a little stir, and then I'm gonna pour this right over the top, just like this. Oh, man. Then we get some of that seasoning. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And then for me, you gotta have the right tool for the job. You guys see how I done broke out this spatula? You know why? Because I want to get all of it in there, right? Let us know in the comments if you guys like drums or flats. Right. Now what we're going to do, my favorite part, we're getting ready to toss. Hey, so you guys just seen all of that. If you come in there and look at that again, look, that right there is a Super Bowl spread, right? Only difference is we probably needed about four more of these out there. Hey, super easy with a little planning. You can just knock, knock, knock this out. I feel like I'm about to over talk this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. let's go, nephew. Right, right, right. Cheers, bro. Cheers. Mm -hmm. mm. Anytime you and I get the you know chance to cook side by side, you know what I mean. We have been making some epic, mm. you know, some epic meals, snacks, appetizers. We've been doing know. this for a long time now, so it's been a couple years now. This is true. Hey, so look. With that being said, this right here, this is not gonna last long either. Listen, we're using like you know like the scoops. Get yourself some tortilla, uh, original, you know, whatever, or get the scoops. You guys hit it. Hey, while I'm talking, I'm gonna go ahead and get me a little bit of this. You know what I mean? And, uh, that's the perfect time for me to go ahead and plug the cookbook for you guys. The cookbook is finally back in stock. Overwhelming support. We appreciate each and every one of you guys. We've sold out twice now, but the book is finally back in stock as of a few days ago. Go ahead and grab yours now. It'll be linked down in the description box below. And again, we can't say enough about how much we appreciate the support we've seen on this book. Hey, you know what? Uh, yeah, hey, from the bottom of our hearts, you know what I mean? Look, gotta say that. Listen, thank you guys. And don't forget, the lemon pepper wings, that's inside of here. We got an appetizer. You know, this right here will get you right for any party. So, listen, again, I just want to say, hey, thank you, nephew. You know what I'm saying? Uh, this is what we do. You know what I mean? Uh, you guys know him, Mr. Make It Happen. Go ahead and, you know, plug your channel. And then, uh... Yeah, I appreciate the opportunity, as always, to, to come out here to Las Vegas. It's always a good time in Vegas as well. Um, fun cooking with you as well. Check out my YouTube channel. Hopefully he tags me in the description box sometimes. <laughs> hey, that's, hey, that's my heads up. You got to call me and tell me that. Hey, what's happening with my name? I'm trying to hit a million subscribers too. I need my gold plaque. Oh, that's, hey, that's right, that's right, that's right. Hey, so with that being said, listen, if you guys like this comment, you know, this type of content, you know, with he and I, you know, cooking, making these appetizers, stuff like this, let us know down in the comment section below. Now, if you're new to my channel, let me just take this time to say, hey, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, smash that subscribe button, and tell everybody out here, listen, there's a channel out here that's simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. And with that being said, I'm going to grab another one of these, and we out. Peace.